Okay, I should be live. This damn chat box still doesn't work, it looks like. That's a pain. I don't know what happened there. Hi, Nate. Hi, Biggie B. I think you're new. I don't remember you in previous streams. But... I hope people show up to this one, because I kind of... Uh, I don't really have anything to do, per se. I just wanted to chat. I kind of need some people to be around for that. Hmm. Let me put on some music. Um, sadly, I don't. I didn't uh, put my little. Sadly, I didn't put my little. Um, what's it called? My little Winamp thing in the uh, on the screen, so you won't be able to see what I'm playing. But it will most likely be Echo the Dolphin music. Freaking hell is it? I'm not prepared this time. <laughs> not much, Nate. What's up with you? Hi, Ashtray. Hi, Living Corpse. I put the hell in hello. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm very unprepared. Hang on. Um, add directory. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, desktop audio never works anymore. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, this is the Echo soundtrack. I wanted to keep things kind of chill and relaxing this time. How is everything down there? Well, <laughs> kind of a loaded question. Nothing just existing. <laughs> I know the feeling. Um, so, um, back when I was, um, back when I was uh, making videos full time, I wasn't making enough money, so I was looking for a part time job. I ended up finding a job that was one day on Thursdays, and it was perfect because it worked with my schedule and it let me get a little more money. Unfortunately, I wasn't making enough money, so I had to get a second job. So I got a second job where I worked Monday through Wednesday and Friday, and Thursday I was still going to my other job. Um, so, Tara, shut up. So I lost my Thursday job. And I thought, oh, well, I can just work Thursdays at my other job. I didn't really want to. I liked being able to work at the other place on Thursdays, but whatever. Uh, it turned out my boss didn't want me to do that because uh, business was slow, according to her. So I thought I was only going to be working four days a week, which meant less money, like $500 less per month. So that was kind of scary. And then... Then she changed it to, I'm uh, working there on Thursdays as well now because she noticed that things were busier than she thought they were gonna be. So at least for like last Thursday and next Thursday, I'm gonna be working Thursdays there as well. So it keeps going back and forth and it's a little bit crazy and I wish things would kind of settle down, but that's, that's my life right now. <laughs> also, Lee just lost his job, or rather it's going to end on March uh, 31st, which is Tuesday so uh, but he is going to be getting unemployment and I don't want to jinx it but I think with uh, you know the 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 thing they passed where they give money to people who lost their jobs due to the virus outbreak um, we might actually be making he might actually be making more than when he was working so things might actually like go in our favor for once so we'll see <laughs> But he thinks we can survive on a regular uh, unemployment if that doesn't happen, so we'll see. 
If you don't want, they want to keep things chill and relaxing, don't play the machine level music. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Ordered everyone to take a week off. Wow. Oh, well, you'll still get paid, but that's up to employers. Oh, okay, so it's up to the employers whether you get paid or not. At least you're able to work from home. Um, I'm still going to work. The, uh, the building that we work at was technically closed. But uh, my boss is still there and me and my coworker are still there, but it's only like the three of us and we kind of, you know, keep our distance from each other. So I'm, I'm probably going to be okay doing that. I, I kind of wish I could work from home, but it's not really possible with my job, unfortunately, because there are, there are physical files involved and she doesn't really want them to leave the office. <laughs> still working, but asking you to reduce your hours. Yeah. You work in a kitchen, it's been shut down for a week now. Well, that sucks. I know some takeout places are still open. Lee and I actually went to In-N-Out uh, and got takeout today. Um, probably wasn't the best idea, but we hadn't gotten any sort of uh, food like that in a while, and we were kind of missing it. And um, In-N-Out is supposed to be one of the better places for stuff like that. Any plans on renewing, reviewing the new Red Dwarf special? Yes, yes. Oh, it's coming out on April 9th? Oh, crap. I didn't realize it was that soon. Yeah, I mean, it'll probably be a year from when it comes out. But yeah, of course I'll cover it. I actually said in my last cat video that I would. Yeah, I don't have Dave either. I'm going to have to get it uh, other ways. <laughs> Glad to see I'm okay. Glad to see you're okay too, Oki Ka Kaze. You found a good copy of Army of Darkness on DVD at Dollar General of all places. <laughs> Low price of 385. Wow, not bad. scary to go into work when the states are exploding with the virus yeah fortunately we don't we, we've um kind of changed things so that we aren't interacting with clients in person very much we're trying to do most things over the phone just occasionally they have to drop off documents and that's like the only time we interact with them like they draw have to drop off documents usually they can email their documents but some things have to be dropped off in person and um Sometimes they have to come and sign something, but we actually are interacting with them as little as possible, so. The Almighty Game Genie, I like that name. So I was streaming and wanted to pop in and say that during this whole thing, you've been listening to Film Den at work to keep your sanity all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, our president basically when I propose a week off with everyone still getting paid and everyone was, and how are our employers would pay for that? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, if you work for a corporation, they can probably still pay you. I don't know if they would, but they can. But like, I work for a person, not so much like a company. So You're going to try to get through this without making one Red Dwarf reference, but you make no promises. Yeah, I know the feeling. At the height of my Red Dwarf uh, obsession. God, I, I did... Uh, it was Silent Hill... When I covered Silent Hill Downpour, I made four different Red Dwarf references and four different Red Dwarf clips in that video. Is that Terra or Soul? That's Terra. Soul is too big and fat to get in the window. <laughs> Yeah, Tara's the little all black one. Soul is the big black and white one. I didn't even notice she was up there. Hearing this music brings back memories. You haven't played the game in years. The sequel was better in just about every way possible. <laughs> Hi, Stan. Huh. <sighs> 
<sighs> yeah, I'm keeping so things things so chill. I'm actually drinking tea. I don't even drink tea that often. But this is a tea that I make out of. Um, consider this a tip. <laughs> this is a tea I made make out of, um, like a, a really good. I don't really measure it out, but like a really good squeeze of lemon juice from one of those little plastic lemons, and uh, probably about a tablespoonful, I guess, and about the same amount of honey. And I put in just a little splash of brandy. And uh, I fill the rest of the glass up with water and then I microwave it for about a minute minute or a minute and a half. And uh, if it's not quite sweet enough, I might add a little bit of Truvia to it. But um, it's pretty good and it's really good for when you have a sore throat. <laughs> so, like, alcohol isn't really good for you when you're sick, but uh, a little bit of brandy I think is okay and it kind of numbs back your throat. I don't really have a sore throat today, I just thought this sounded nice. Oh, I'm getting a little behind on the chat now. I was rambling for a bit. <sighs> it's worth it to watch Bruce Campbell attack big Bruce Campbell. <laughs> All the little Bruce Campbell. Yeah. That was a good... I, I have mixed feelings about Army of Darkness. I think it's kind of hit or miss, but I did love that bit with all the little tiny ashes attacking the, the normal-sized ash. <laughs> that was so dumb. <clears> hmm. <throat> Meyer told you not to come in since you have an awful dry cough. Oh yeah, they said they won't pay you for the off time and won't let you work your schedule shifts so you get confirmation that that you're not sick. Oh man, that's such a pain in the ass. I'm sorry. I hope I don't come down with something because I probably can't afford to go to the doctor. <laughs> well, that might not be true. I do have insurance. But... I mean, I, I think the test for coronavirus is insanely expensive because it's so, like, there's such a shortage on it. Yes, you have been commenting on the videos a lot, Special Iron. <laughs> nah, you're not annoying with me. It, it used to annoy me when someone would go along and comment on a whole bunch of videos and my email would be filled with comments that I have to read, but it doesn't, I'm fine with it now. What do I do for work? Uh, I work for a bankruptcy attorney. <laughs> I'm kind of an office assistant, basically. Uh, my job I used to have on Thursdays, I worked for a financial advisor, so I feel like I was kind of at both ends of the spectrum there. <laughs> kind of got a kick out of that, but I only work for the bankruptcy attorney now. <clears throat> It is pretty good. I mostly drink it because it, it's really good for my throat, but it actually tastes pretty good too. In fact, what I used to, uh, another addition I used to add um, was I used to take some uh, ground ginger. You know, you can buy ground ginger in the little jar. I used to take a little bit of ground ginger and I would put it in a, what do you call those? Uh, the tea, tea diffuser, infuser? I think it's infuser. Anyway, you know, the little thing you put tea, loose tea in and you, you know, it's like a spoon, but it's got a little chamber in it. I used to put ginger in that and I would let that sit in the cup for a little while and it would also have ginger in it, which was also really good for your throat. He made an ash of himself. <laughs> Had a dentist appointment and it was declined because they measured, oh, because you're, because you had a fever. Oh, that's a bummer. I know a lot of dentists here have basically shut down and they're only doing like emergency stuff, which sucks because I really need to see the dentist. <laughs> i try not to get carried away with it nonetheless. I appreciate it. <laughs> Good thing people like me are here to make you smile and laugh in the coronavirus crap. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, when I thought I wasn't going to work on Thursdays, I was starting to warm up to the idea of maybe... Uh, I'm going to turn this volume down a little bit. It's a little loud for me. Probably not for you guys, but it's distracting me a little bit. Um, yeah, when I was thought I wasn't going to work on Thursdays, I was kind of warming up to the idea of possibly streaming on Thursdays. Maybe doing this kind of stream. And then I found out I was working Thursdays. <laughs> But it's only it's only like for a couple weeks and then and then we'll we'll see. 
If if work uh, slows down, then I she's probably not gonna let me do Thursdays for a while. But eh. if Lee uh, gets as much for um, unemployment as we think, it might it might be fine. <laughs> really hoping that works out. Any movies I'm looking forward to this year? Um, oh yeah, The Candyman. I hope that's that's a continuation and not a remake, right? I don't remember what Antlers is. I know I've heard of it. Yeah, I can't think of any movies I'm looking forward to. I um, The last movie I saw was Sonic the Hedgehog, which was fun. But uh, yeah, that was about the only movie I was looking forward to. So it's, I'm glad I got to see it before the before the corona thing hit. So Antlers involves Wendigos, that's interesting. <clears throat> oh, so you probably didn't even have an actual fever. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> yeah, you made it oblivious. Quite paranoid about getting symptoms, but we've been okay so far. Yeah, same here. I, um, I had, when was this? I want to say it was either Sunday night or Monday night. I kept waking up with a dry cough and I was really worried. And like the next morning I felt really crappy, like possibly I was coming down with something. And then later on I started to feel a little bit better and I realized it was just lack of sleep and allergies. <laughs> allergies do cause me to wake up in the middle of the night with a dry cough for some reason, so. Excuse me, that was actually a burp. <laughs> I don't know why I did this, it was just a burp. <laughs> oh, I'm actually getting a little behind on the chat now. It's not an emergency dental issue. Not really, it's just my teeth are getting kind of bad in the back and I probably have a lot of cavities that need to be filled. And It kind of hurts when I eat something crunchy. Have I seen Sleepaway Camp? I actually haven't. Enjoying the music, it's a classic nostalgia trip. That's cool. I think I might find, I don't have the music for Echo 2 on my computer, but I, maybe I'll find it on YouTube or something if I'm still going when this ends. Who's a kitty in the background? That's Tara. <laughs> she has a habit of sometimes climbing into my chair and you can see her butt <laughs> during streams. Crazy how this whole thing exploded in the last weeks. Even had the first effect in your little village in Australia. Can't believe, you can't leave the house at all now, damn. Yeah, it shouldn't have, it shouldn't have, uh, exploded so quickly in the first place. It wouldn't have if people were paying more attention. The people in charge were paying more attention. Can't imagine getting stuck with tooth pain for however long this is gonna last. Yeah, fortunately it's not like constant pain. It's only whenever I'm eating something crunchy. It's Tara, yeah. <clears throat> card attendant for BJ's. <clears throat> Hi, Reese. Just don't mention the Candyman movie three times. <laughs> Sonic movie was excellent. I don't know if I would really call it excellent. It kind of a paint by numbers movie in a lot of ways but I I loved how Sonic looked and and I just thought Sonic himself was so great that it just made up for anything that was kind of mediocre about the rest of the movie and and Robotnik too of course <laughs> he was also great and the people in it were really good it's just the movie itself played it very safe but eh it is what it is I still enjoyed it I actually watched it a second time somebody on my um Somebody on my server linked to a, a YouTube video where somebody had actually uploaded it. And it, like, it took over like only a quarter of the screen and the rest of the screen was the Avengers logo. 
But, you know, it wasn't the first time I was watching it, so I didn't mind too much. Oh man, I'm gonna wear out my throat. I might not be able to keep this up for two hours this time. <sighs> Normally I kind of like take little breaks while I'm playing games or doing art or whatever. And this, the way I'm doing this now, I'm talking the entire time. <clears throat> Antlers is being produced by Del Toro and looks pretty intense. It was supposed to come out next month, but obviously got delayed. Huh. Interesting. I <laughs> don't say Beetlejuice three times. You don't have a toothache, but your tooth is basically falling apart. And you were hoping they would prepare it for a tooth cap so it wouldn't break further. Oh, man. Your favorite Chucky movie is Seed. <laughs> uh, nobody's perfect. <laughs> no, I'll admit it. I actually wa did watch Seed of Chucky. I avoided it for ages because I didn't like Bride, but Seed was just like self-aware enough and ridiculous enough that it was entertaining, but I still prefer the earlier Child's Play movies. Mortal Kombat Mugen games? No, I have not. I haven't played Mortal Kombat since like the 2D games. The music for Echo CD is even better. Technically it is. I, I wish they didn't have all new songs, though. Hi, Raphael Lister. Pretty fond of the new Child's Play movies and hope they continue that storyline. Yeah, I, uh, I, what was the last one? Oh yeah, Cult of Chucky. That, I like that one a lot. Curse of Chucky was kind of hit or miss for me, but Cult of Chucky was amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> Twist of Sleepaway Camp is at Soylent Green as people. I think you're a little confused there. I think you got your lines crossed. You feel like the spirit of your late dogs are always next to you? Aww. Yeah, I need new glasses too. I had to put it off because, uh, because our, our insurance wasn't covering it or something. Thing is, I really like these frames and I can't find another, I can't find frames that look like these now. So if I get new glasses, I'm, I'm gonna have to like, have them put le new lenses in these or something. <clears throat> I really like these glasses. <laughs> The music for Echo Defender of the Future is exquisite, too. God, I really don't remember that game too well. I know I played it a little bit, but I think I got stuck somewhere early on and I didn't- I ended up not getting very far. It's hard playing a game like that in 3D where you can go in any direction. I think I was always getting lost or disoriented. If I remember correctly, it's been ages. <clears throat> when you've been watching the news a lot, you tend to know when stuff is going more pear-shaped than it should be. Yeah, I'm trying not to watch the news too much. But, uh, even with my limited, <laughs> my limited information, I can tell things aren't going well. Oh, the coronavirus challenge. I nearly missed that. Yeah, I nearly missed that comment, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Darwinism. Just just Darwinism. I, I heard that guy actually caught it and ended up in the hospital on a respirator. Sonic was very, very 90s kids movie. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I 
Your mom heard about how everyone would get a week off. She started insisting that you should immediately hop on a train and travel to your home city for 23 hours. <laughs> yeah, get on a train with a bunch of other people. That's a good idea. Yeah, Sonic was very endearing. Jim Carrey was great. <clears throat> Considering how checkered Sonic's qualities, you can see why they kept it safe. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's hard making anything Sonic that uh, the majority will like. They almost had to play it safe. Excuse me talk for 24 hours and win $80. <laughs> oh, hi, Trekkie. He showed up before the very end of the stream this time. If only the current Sonic game started taking risks again. <clears throat> have I seen the 2019 The Color Out of Space adaptation? I have not. I don't think I've heard of it. Cute kitty in the background. Oh yeah, she's in a box. That's like her favorite place to curl up in here is in that box. So it's where I keep a bunch of like socks and stuff in there. I guess it's comfy. <clears throat> Seed knows it's a stupid movie and runs with it. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why I ended up enjoying it. I almost hate to admit that I liked it, but I did. That awkward moment when a bootleg dub is better than the official one. <laughs> I remember you telling me that the dub for the... Or I guess the subtitles, whatever, for the Russian one were weird. Hi, Timmer. Front cap is broke, see me the dentist. That's a bummer. <laughs> Hi, George. <laughs> Greetings from upside down land. You must be in Australia. If I talk for 25 hours, you will give me $80. I doubt that. I couldn't do it anyway. <clears throat> Damn, the chat's really going well. It makes sense. I'm talking more, so people are responding more, probably. <sighs> have I watched the Chucky remake? I have not. I guess if it comes on Netflix or something, I will. Just kind of out of curiosity because people did say it was good, but I just think it's such a dumb concept to take Chucky and take everything away that makes him unique. <laughs> turn it into a... Turn it into like a killer robot movie. It's just... It's just not child's play. I don't see the point. <clears throat> It's been a while since I've seen it, but from what I gather, the plot is basically the same as that whole, like, that episode of The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror where, like, they did a parody of Talking Tina with a Krusty doll. Apparently, the Child's Play remake has the same, has the same plot where they just flip the evil switch on the doll. I don't know, that's what I've been told. I haven't seen it yet. This whole thing has been a good excuse to watch movies you haven't seen. <laughs> God, I haven't seen The Fifth Element in ages. I, I didn't really catch on to that whole um, obsession that everyone had with The Fifth Element when it was new. I think I remember liking it. Soylent Green is tasty, people. Hi, Tea Scream.
I'm doing all right, Trekkie. How are you doing? God, I went to Walmart today, and it actually wasn't that bad, but Walmart is a big place, and my legs were sore by the time we were done. It actually wasn't that bad. I was actually able to buy eggs this week. I wasn't able to buy eggs last week, and it sucked. Yeah, good morning from Germany, I know. It's always morning for you when I'm streaming. <clears throat> Defender of the Future was fun, but frustrated. It was narrated. It had narration? I don't remember that. Stuck on the boss battle with a great white. Huh. Take the power gem from its jaws? What the fuck is Echo? Defender of the future. <laughs> is the coronavirus challenge just idiotic licking the toilet seats? Yeah, somebody talked about that earlier. Didn't really intend to talk about the virus the whole time, but <laughs> it's what everybody's... What everyone's thinking about. Let me um, change what's on my monitor so that my face doesn't look so dark. That's a little better. <laughs> I'm really just kind of lit by my monitor. <laughs> I don't have a very professional setup here. <clears throat> oh, your parents rely on Fox News. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't say that my family is necessarily left-wing, but they're definitely not right-wing and they hate Trump, so I, I at least don't have that issue with my family, I'm happy to say. I mean, honestly, I'm probably just gonna forget and, and call you by your nickname. So if you want to be called something, you should like rename yourself to that because I'm not gonna remember. Just being honest. I occasionally have someone go, oh, call me this other thing. And I'm like, I'm not gonna remember. Unless maybe it's an abbreviation or something. <clears throat> Got behind again. Oh, hey, Danny showed up. Hey, Danny. You just sent me an email a little while ago. I haven't responded to it yet, but I will. I'm actually still scrolling up. I got, um... Oh, I tried to scroll down, and then it'll, like, refresh, and it's like I have to scroll back up. Oh, my God. I'm so far behind. There we go. <clears throat> Idiots on mass are practically forcing your state's government to declare martial law. Yeah. Uh. Your brother's wife and several of your family members have it. Oof. I need to uh I need to call my mom sometime this weekend and check up on her. She's like in her I don't think she's quite 90 yet. I think she's 89, but yeah. I would hate for her to get it. <laughs> Probably my sister and brother shouldn't get it either. Yeah, my... <laughs> I was kind of a... Um, I was sort of a second generation of kids. My parents had me really late. That's why I'm, my parents are old enough to be... We're old enough to be my grandparents, and my, my siblings are old enough to be my parents. <laughs> I have a nephew who is almost the same age as me. So yeah, don't be don't be shocked if I say my mom is 89. <laughs> she was like 45 when she had me, I think. So yeah. <clears throat> you hope they make a red dwarf video game? I thought of uh I thought of some ideas for that if I were to ever make one, but I probably would never do it. I can barely get my Abidox ID off the ground. <laughs> hmm. 
Sonic Phantom is a very multi-layered beast. It's best not to look too deeply. Yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> mm. I think I'm gonna take a little break and go and reheat this. I could... I need a little break from talking anyway, so I will be back in just a minute. Here, I'll turn the echo music up a little bit. So you guys can hear it a little better. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay, whoops. I'm gonna spill my drink. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Turn this back down a little bit. These are uh these are unused tracks if they sound weird. <laughs> hmm. In fact, really quick, I think I'm gonna queue up some Echo 2 music. So that it's ready. Um one second here. There it is. I need a, uh... There we go. Only 16 tracks? Hmm. Whoops. Okay. Not gonna play it yet. <laughs> I... <clears throat> All right. Oh, thank you, George. Oh, hello, Dina and Lee. Be less poor. <laughs> oh no, wait. That's my that's my message. Duh. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Just watching David Hewlett's stream over on Twitch. I know that name. I know that name, but I can't place who that is. Amazon Prime is doing cinema streams where you can watch movies that would be in the theaters. I heard about that. Unfortunately, it's still pretty pricey. <laughs> What's Kit Kitty's name? Her name is Tara. We had a we had a naming a th uh, theme naming going on with our cats. The first one we named Luna. Sadly, she passed away a couple months ago. But and then we got another one who we named Soul, and then we named this one Tara. So it was like Moon, Sun, Earth. <laughs> <clears throat> now we just have Sun and Earth. <clears throat> Nicholas Cage is in color out of space? Okay. Kitty in a box, if I fits, I sits. <laughs> Pretty much. <clears throat> okay, I think that was the last track on Echo that wasn't the theme to the second one. Where'd it go? Come on. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm playing this off YouTube. <clears throat> I don't know, 
not sure if this is the entire soundtrack. It's only, well, no, I guess, like, they probably reused tracks in that one. So, yeah, okay, 16 tracks might be all of them. Okay, here's the Echo 2 music. The restrictions to ensure you don't go to the beach, have big weddings or funerals or otherwise gather publicly to defy social distancing or truly heralding it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man, I still haven't had a chance to watch Star Trek Picard. I don't have the, uh, what is it, CBS All Access or something like that. I don't have that. Lee downloaded the first episode, but we still haven't watched it, so... <clears throat> yes, Tara does always steal my chats. <clears throat> my streams, rather. I don't normally do chats like this. <clears throat> Last month or so, you've rewatched all of DS9. <laughs> God, I've watched DS DS9 in ages. Yeah, I already said hi to Danny. I got a little ahead there. Hi again, Danny, <laughs> if you're still here. Watching Underwater right now? I don't think I've heard of that. <clears throat> I love the idea of um, refamiliarizing yourself with cooking if you have more free time. I, I would love to do that. It's so hard for me to make dinner every night when I work full time. Ooh, I love this song. I'll turn this up a little bit. Uh, what happened? I guess I accidentally paused it. <laughs> Crystal Springs. That might be my favorite uh, song from this soundtrack, but it's been a while since I listened to it. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on the chat. Special Iron saying he doesn't recognize the music and as is asking if it's an unused track. I already explained that it was. Turn that back down a little bit. It's a little distracting. I want you guys to be able to hear this, but I don't want it to be so loud that it distracts me, so it's a balancing act. <clears throat> Movies done to keep the rights to something usually don't turn out well. Yeah. <laughs> like most of the Hellraiser sequels. <clears throat> Pinhead versus Ash. That would be interesting. I did not know that Captain Hollister was in the fifth element. I know he was in Alien, though. Or Aliens? Yeah, Aliens. Oh, belated bye, Stan. Thanks for stopping by. <coughs> oh, damn it. The stupid chat refreshed on me while I was thinking I was near the bottom. Hmm. <coughs> Oh my god, I have to scroll so much just to get- I hate how the chat works. I'm way further behind on the chat than I thought. Okay, I finally got up to where. Hmm. 
<laughs> Most stores have better anything than Walmart. Yeah, probably. I hate to shop at Walmart. I know it's a terrible place and they like treat their they treat their uh employees badly and there's just so much wrong with Walmart. I hate to shop there, but <laughs> it is really convenient sometimes. We don't shop there regularly though, fortunately. There's a local uh, uh there's a grocery store that's only a few blocks away called Smart and Final. That's where we normally shop, but sometimes you have to go to Walmart. The stream is like five minutes behind on the chat. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I had to go reheat my tea, so I'm even further behind than I was. <clears throat> it actually doesn't do any good to wear a face mask. It, it doesn't really keep you from catching anything. It, it's, it's a good thing to do if you're sick and you don't want to infect anybody else, but a face mask doesn't really protect you. Excuse me. Oh, the game was only narrated at the beginning. Okay. Excuse me. Mm. A little bit of heartburn there. Wow, it's 2.30 in the morning for you, Anna. Uh, drink acid challenge makes as much sense. You can't even remember why you named yourself Special Iron. Yeah, I was I was wondering a little bit what your name meant. <clears throat> I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit because some of you guys are just talking to each other, which is totally fine, but I don't need to comment on those. Well, of course no one should get the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm not sure what point you're making there. <clears throat> I don't remember Saber Rider that well. I, I remember that it existed. I think it was an 80s thing, but more kitty time. Yep, she's still there. I should, uh... There we go. Let's see you can see Tara. Unfortunately, I have to reach a little further to get my mouse. Yeah, George knows what I mean about the, the generation gap. Yeah, 36 and 19, that's that's a pretty big jump. Not as much as in my family, but... <clears throat> oh, your brother's wife is pregnant and in healthcare. Oh, hope she's doing okay. Echo is like Chrono Cross, the music is the best part. Eh. The graphics are really good, too. Now we're left with Tara Stare. Oh, that must have been while I was away. I noticed she was looking towards the door. Or the monitor, whichever. A <laughs> literal cybercat stream. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm out of tea. Time to end the stream. Not just kidding. <clears throat> oh, what am I drinking? Um, I mentioned it earlier, but some people have probably come in since then. It's basically, um... I put like a really good squeeze of lemon juice, like probably about a tablespoon into a cup. Then I put about the same amount of honey 
and then I uh, add just a little splash of um, brandy and then I fill up the rest of the cup with water and then I microwave it for like a minute to a minute and a half and it's a really good uh, it's like a tea that's a really good for your throat I don't actually I didn't actually have a sore throat today but I just thought it sounded good oh yeah and if it's not sweet enough sometimes I add a little bit of Truvia to it <clears throat> Is Tara a pet me cat or leave me alone cat? Oh, she is such a pet me cat. She's like all over me. I'm actually surprised she's been back there the whole time. Usually at some point she's climbing all over my desk and my chair. And Actually, let me see if I can get her attention. Oh. Hi, baby girl. When I stretch, she reacts. <laughs> it's such a funny thing she does. Oh my god, it worked. Here she comes. Come on, baby girl. Oh, you come to check up on me. Oh, you're so sweet. Aww. Aww. She is so smart and sensitive. Uh, let's see, where was I on the chat? Wanna well, come up here? You wanna be in the stream? Wanna be in the stream, baby girl? You know everyone wants to tea you. Echo music, the rock opera. <clears throat> there she, there, there she is. Here she is. Here we go. It's officially. You, know, you can't see her too well. It's officially cat butt Saturday. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom out real quick. Tara, oh, she just jumped off. Yeah, they did add the Pulsar ability to uh, Echo 2, didn't they? I haven't played it in a while. Echo, the world's first time-traveling interstellar alien-bashing dolphin. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, you know what? When I read David Hewlett, I think I thought of Tom Hewlett. That's why it sounded familiar to me. I'm like, I thought I heard that name somewhere. Yeah, Tom Hewlett is somebody totally different. <clears throat> Hi, Chibi Cthulhu. I am way behind on the chat, so you probably posted that like five minutes ago. Oh, sorry. To oh, you mean Luna? Yeah, thank you. That was a bummer. Hi, Carla. Okay, Timmer, thanks for stopping by, even though you're probably long gone by now. <laughs> we are in the future. <laughs> Did I ever get a chance to play Zombies Ate My Neighbors? No, I didn't, actually. Ooh, this is a good song, too. What is this one? Trellius Bay. Oh, right. Okay. God, I haven't played this game in so long. <clears throat> Favorite is the one that plays when you swim through the water tube from the giant red jellyfish thing. Oh, yeah. Tube of Medusa. Um, that's coming, actually. That's uh, Next is Skyway and then Tube of Medusa. Thank you for your Red Dwarf comment. Thank you. Glad you like it. This little butthead wants out now, so one second. You're such a butt. Come on. <clears throat> oh, here's the Skyway. I'm sorry to hear you miss your cat, Living Corpse. Excuse me, jeez. I didn't think it. Well, you know, when you sip something, you inhale a lot of air, too, so. That's why I'm burping so much now. <laughs> Kitty friends are good to have, they are. 
even if they're a little pain in the butt sometimes. <laughs> oh, you show my Red Dwarf videos to new fans to help them understand the show. That's awesome. Damn it, there it goes. It refreshed again. I gotta find out where I left off at. Okay. One great thing about working from home is you can play whatever music you want. Yeah. <laughs> Customer case work with Jaws music playing. That's awesome. I listen to music at, at my work, but I, I keep the volume really low so it doesn't bother my coworker. Rewatching Alf. Wow. I haven't watched Alf in ages. I loved that show when I was a kid, though. That's one of those shows that has a really bad uh, behind the scenes stuff. <clears throat> but it was a good show. <clears throat> DS9 has the most, or I mean Voyager has the most in common with Red Dwarf. Yeah, I suppose it does. They, they, they were uh, kind of lost trying to find their way home. I didn't watch too much of Voyager, but I, I know the gist of what it was about. Here's the Tube of Medusa music. <laughs> I like to think I'm a pretty good cook, too, but God, it's so hard to find the time. Oh, yeah, and it has a holographic character as well. Both shows have an episode that uses the song Someone to Watch Over Me. Oh, that's so interesting. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this music is awesome. I see why someone said that it was their favorite track. Dun, dun, dun. It's intense, man. Then that level is intense. I haven't seen 1917. That's the war movie with the... Where the... Without... That's supposed to look like it's unedited, right? You could apparently watch Picard for free until April 23rd in the US. I've heard that. I should probably look that up. <clears throat> <laughs> Some of the money does go to pay the theaters. Well, that's good. I mean, I understand why it's why it's the price that it is, but I already couldn't really afford to go to the theater too often anyway. <laughs> yes, Oblivious, you are very chatty, but that's all right. There's no way I could do this all on my own without uh, people to bounce things off of, so... I don't know. I've, I've heard from some people that Picard was really good and from others that it's not that good. It just seems to depend on who you ask. Maybe it depends on what you wanted from it. I don't know. I'm behind on the chat because I'm too popular. Well, that and I had to go reheat my tea. Face mask is a much better idea than covering yourself in Lysol. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, now it's telling me the desk- Oh, you know what? The desktop audio is working because it's on you- I'm watching this on YouTube. Shit, I hope that wasn't too loud. I just noticed that the desktop audio, uh, thing is going up and down and I- I- it's because I switched to YouTube from Winamp. I hope that I hope the music wasn't too loud for you guys. I'm gonna turn it back down a little bit because now I'm a little concerned about it. Okay, Hershey, thanks for stopping by, even though you're probably long gone. (laughs) 
Ah, oh, damn thing refreshed again. Oh, there we go. I'm okay. I'm I'm actually almost caught up with the chat finally. Ah. Oh. Well, it's not so much about remembering. It's because I it's because I scroll up so I can see where I left off at before. <clears throat> <laughs> My throat tea recipe sounds quite yummy, although you're not a big fan of alcohol. Yeah, you could like, you could leave the alcohol out. It's just, I think it's kind of a nice addition because it, it numbs your throat a little bit. <laughs> the stretch equals react thing is adorable. Yeah, I'm so glad I got her on camera doing that. She used to have a bigger reaction. Like, she would actually come up to me and hop in my lap. Like, she really thought I needed attention when I stretched. <laughs> I guess because that's what cats do, you know? When they want attention from you, they'll kind of look, look up at you and stretch and act all cute. And I guess that's what she thinks I'm doing when I stretch. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys got a kick out of that. And like I said, I'm glad I got it on camera, too. <clears throat> a cuddle me cat. <laughs> Saul is kind of weird. Sometimes he'll, like, he spends a lot of time, like, on the other side of the room for me, but every once in a while he'll come over to me and, like, claw my chair, and I'll pick him up and put him in my lap, and he'll stay there for a while. He also sometimes cuddles with me at night, but he hasn't been doing it so much lately. He kind of goes back and forth on it. Oh, you can't have pets in your house. That's too bad. Shortest cat butt Saturday ever. <laughs> when you're quarantined, so all you can do is horror movies and stare at your lava lamp. Uh, Tom Hewlett was... Um, I forget his exact title, but he was... Uh, behind some of the later Silent Hill games that some people didn't like. and Yeah, so that's who, that's how I know who Tom Hewlett is, because of Silent Hill. The Silent Hill fandom, really. <clears throat> if we are in the future, the so Echo soundtrack is a very apt choice. <laughs> Is it? I'm sure there are a lot of Red Dwarf fans here, or at least a few. I mean, they watch my videos, so... Yeah, the, uh... Echo 2 soundtrack is a little different from the first one. It's a little more, like, kind of upbeat and has more of, like, drums in it, I guess? I don't know, it's just, it, it rocks a little bit harder than the f first one, which was a little more serene for the most part, at least... I don't know, I'm not very good at dis- I don't know anything about music, so it's hard to explain how it's different, but... Okay, Trekkie, live long and prosper. <laughs> uh, and you're probably long gone anyway. <laughs> Everyone here is a Red Dwarf fan, possibly. Oh, the volume was just right? Oh, well. <laughs> Here, I'll turn it back up a little bit then. Here, I'll just turn my speaker down a little bit, because it was a little loud for me. Whoops. Chat's getting away from me again. I was almost caught up. Ha, <laughs> flamingoed up. It's like a coke up, only much, much bigger. <laughs> yeah, I know Special Iron found me through my Red Dwarf videos because he keeps commenting on them. <laughs> That's fine though. I like I I I like getting comments for the most part. You should watch it, Oblivious. I think you'd get a kick out of it. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Too many other things to watch. 
Oh, I'm so glad my cat videos made you appreciate uh, the character more. I had one guy make a comment like he watched my first Red Dwarf video and just in response to what I said about like the cat being my favorite character, he's like, I never really got why anyone likes the cat. He's kind of a crap character, really. And I'm like, I just said in the video that I made that I made another video talking about it. Like you could like try to see my you could try to learn why I like why I think he's a good character, but instead you leave a snarky comment. Uh, <clears throat> found the vlog on Samsara while trying to find the scene where a cat confuses Newton with Archimedes. <laughs> For Micah. That was a great scene. Cat was so fucking dumb in that. And so, like... He was so... Talkative. <laughs> like, obnoxiously talkative. Uh, it was so funny. Cat was great in that episode. Yeah, Danny does an amazing job. He really puts everything into that character. Soul sounds like a rebellious teenager. <laughs> I guess he is a little like that. <laughs> well, I'm glad you stuck around and decided all of them. Why well, decided to watch all of them, Special Iron? Tom Hewlett was a producer for Silent Hill in the States. Yeah, he, basically he produced. Um, I can't remember which... Did he do... I guess he probably... Well, yeah, all the games that were made in the U.S., I guess. All the non-Japanese games. Hi, Wesker. <laughs> yeah, the music is from Echo the Tides of Time. Hi, Drew. Unless you were saying hi to Wesker. No, I think he just came in. Closest you get to pets are your sisters as well as your mother's dogs. Whenever you go to visit them. All five of them get super excited because that means guaranteed attention or treats. all. <laughs> yes, the music is from Echo 2. I think I said that already, but I'm not sure. Gives everyone the T-virus. I thought we were calling it the C-virus. Hmm. <clears throat> Epic Norman Lovett impression? <laughs> I wasn't even really trying. Oh, you learned a lot from me? That's cool. <clears throat> yeah. The Formica scene had you crying with laughter. That was so great. Cat was just amazing there. Would Cat make a good chief? I don't know. Probably not. Um, I do have an Instagram. I don't really use it. I was trying to use it to post uh, pictures of Terra from when we first got her to now, and I was going to post them all in chronological order. And I just, I kind of stopped. So I have a handful of pictures of Terra as a kitten on my Instagram, and that's about it. Amused by the number of people who can't spell Kachansky. I know. <laughs> A film den on cats. I don't know. I haven't been able to... I haven't had the chance to watch cats yet. We'll have to see. Silent Hill down corn. <laughs> uh. Why would you wish that evil on anyone? They didn't inter uh, introduce her properly. You mean Kachansky? The show didn't handle her well in general. Have I done a River vid Rimmer video? I have not. I, I don't plan to do the other characters just because they get so much attention on the show. I don't really feel the need to. Like, there are so many Lister and Rimmer and Crichton episodes that... 
that I just don't feel the need to really, you know, do a video on them. Whereas there are basically no cat videos unless you count, um, unless you count Waiting for God or, um, or, uh, can of worms. And I definitely don't can count can of worms. Waiting for God is somewhat a cat episode, but it's more about his race than him personally. I liked Waiting for God. It just wasn't as much of a cat episode as it could have been. <laughs> cat is always amazing, indeed. Yeah, I guess Downpour did have some frame rate issues. It didn't really bother me too much. I guess I'm sort of used to that from older games. All in all, a 100% successful trip. <laughs> My thoughts on Chris Berry? Um, I don't know. I think he's a. I think he's great as Rimmer. I haven't really seen him in anything else other than like Tomb Raider. <laughs> I didn't even know who he was at the time. Cats is scarier than misery and Halloween combined. I see. I don't really. I didn't find cats scary going by the trailer. I don't really have that kind of uncanny canny valley issue with it that other people do. I mean, maybe if I were to watch the whole movie, I'd feel differently. Although that scene with the cockroaches was lo did look really weird. That was kind of fucked up. I did see that at some point. Somebody posted that on YouTube or something. Hmm. <clears throat> Yep, I'm basically caught up. I'm at the point where I don't have to scroll anymore, at least. <laughs> we needed more episodes about him, indeed. Um, supposedly, the, the Red Dwarf movie coming up is supposed to be about him, I think. I don't want to spoil anything I've read. I haven't read very much. I'm trying to, uh... I'm trying to, uh, be as spoiler-free as possible, but... I <laughs> like the way Lister threatened a cat with a golden sausage. Yeah, I, <laughs> that was so funny. What do I think about dead meat tearing apart the original Pet Cemetery and complimenting Pet Cemetery 2? I don't know who that is, so I don't know what you're talking about, but he sounds like he has bad taste in movies. <laughs> Pet Cemetery 2 was terrible. Unless you enjoy it in a so bad it's good kind of way. I could see doing that. It's pretty off the wall. Form an orderly queue behind the gun sight. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone is using time in quarantine to watch new movies, and I'm desperately trying to force someone I know to watch Sonic and failing. <laughs> uh, I wish I could uh, fail to understand why actual Cats fans want a butthole cut. They don't, it's just a running gag. As far as I know. I think people are just bored and they're making fun of the Snyder Cut. People. They're making fun of the people who, who were pushing for the Snyder Cut of... Uh, Justice League. God. I guess I'm getting tired. Someone spoiled the special for you. That sucks. I mean, they've been posting spoilery stuff about it for a while. I've been trying to avoid as much of it as possible. Excuse me. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I don't think I saw the one where Cat ejects Rumor through the roof. Yeah, I've definitely never heard of uh, dead meat. Oh, hey, Ajunix. I guess it has been a while. <laughs> Getting everyone into Red Dwarf, that's awesome. <clears throat> Paperwork completed. Good for you, Oblivious. <laughs> when saw Sonic instead of cats, so you could vote with your pocketbook. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure how long, much longer I'm going to keep this up. I guess I'll try to keep it up until 5.30, so like, maybe 14 more minutes, but we'll see. <laughs> Boys from the dwarf. I don't know why they do this, by the way. <laughs> the envy of everyone at the academy. Oh, Soul's eating. I think you guys can't see. Well, you can, there you go. You can sort of see him now. See, there, there, there he is. There's Soul. He's still in here. He doesn't, uh... Tara doesn't like to be in here with the door closed too long. Probably because I put her in here overnight and she's like, Not again! I already did my time. <laughs> Pictures Tara pressing a button and sending Lee through the roof. <laughs> oh, she wouldn't do that. She's a good girl. <clears throat> Did I ever play the Echo game on Dreamcast? Um, I did a little bit. I think I remember getting stuck somewhere and I kind of stopped after that. <laughs> Soul is a big boy. What you doing, Soul? Now he's drinking water. Nah, Tara's outside. Tara's outside the room now. She was in here earlier, but she wanted out. <laughs> yeah, that was so cringy when Rimmer, when Rimmer said that. Oh yeah, I heard good things about Birds of Prey. <clears throat> Hi, Brain Damage. Oh, you started watching Red Dwarf because of your, my videos. Rimmer makes you feel I'm in this picture and I don't like it. Yeah, Chris Berry said something about that. Someone asked him why... Uh, Rimmer is such a fan favorite character, and he says, uh, I think there's a little bit of Rimsy in everyone. <laughs> a favorite fictional incel, is it, well, I, is it Walter Sullivan, I guess? I can't think of too many characters I'd consider incels. Looking forward to any upcoming games. Um, uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, although it's not really upcoming anymore. I just haven't had a chance to play it because I don't have a PS whatever one they're up to now. <laughs> Too bad it's not on Steam. I would probably get it. <gasps> Souls in here because shift change? Oh, as in they change shifts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your friend's cat hissed at you the first time, but it got better. Sometimes they really, like, change your mind about you. It's funny. Hey, Soul! Ah, he's laying on the floor. I was kind of hoping he'd come over here so I could get him on camera, but... Nope. Hmm. <coughs> 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 Is 
Excuse me again, jeez. A part of me would be seen alive in sandals. Excuse me. Damn. Are there any sites where you can watch Red Dwarf? I honestly, I'm not sure. Um, if you're in the U.S., unfortunately, it's not on Netflix or Hulu anymore, but I believe in the U.K. it is. I don't remember where you are, but um, it might be on Amazon Prime, but I'm not sure. I think you can watch it on YouTube uh, if you pay for it, but I don't know how much. <laughs> Old Iron Balls. <laughs> Daily Motion, yeah, probably. I love how whenever I posted my Red Dwarf videos on Daily Motion, they got taken down, but like people upload full episodes and it's fine. I didn't keep my Daily Motion account for very long. <laughs> Whoops, starting to get behind now. Trans Am Wheel Arch Nostrils. Everybody's just quoting Red Dwarf now. <clears throat> PS4, that's it. I thought we were still on 4, but I'm, I'm kind of behind on that. Specifically for the Final Fantasy VII Remake, yeah. I would have bought one for Silent Hills if it actually came out. Oh, ran out of Echo 2 songs. I guess we'll go back to the original, but I'll play it on YouTube. This time. Well, there's a Sega CD soundtrack. That would be something different. I guess, uh, I guess I'll play that. <clears throat> when Superman's episode is about an incel wanting to kill Lois because he didn't get to sleep with her after he was her source. Ugh, yikes. Um... I'm actually not too into the Friday the 13th movies as much as I used to be. I, I really like uh, Part 7, but the rest I don't remember too well. I should probably go back and watch them sometime. <clears throat> Soul needs to do a selfie for the chat. <laughs> uh. Okay, Carla, thanks for stopping by. Oh, Red Dwarf is on Prime under the BritBox channel. Okay. Thank you for that info. <clears throat> what impresses me the most about the characters is they are shown to be somewhat dim-witted, but they come up with all the creative insults on the fly. I know, right? That's like a special kind of intelligence. <laughs> Very specialized abilities they have. <coughs> you shouldn't really cough into your hand, but I'm at home, so... Not really gonna spread the germs to anybody. <laughs> Soul says, I'm too chonky, let me alone. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. He is a big old chonker. <clears throat> BBC now wants their own streaming service. Yeah, it's that's a bummer for me because, you know, I mean, I I I mean, I pretty much have all the episodes at this point, but I would have liked a way to watch them uh on the internet, but I'm not really interested in any other British shows, so I don't want to buy Brit I don't want to subscribe to BritBox or anything. So it was really nice when it was on Netflix. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hi, Digital Diablo. The Goblin King from Labyrinth is the ultimate incel. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> we are almost on PS5. Yeah, sounds about right. I'm sure there I'm sure it's being worked on. Like I said, I haven't really been following it. Daily motion allows pornography yet they take you down for swearing in a let's play. <laughs> yeah, daily motion's even worse than YouTube. Like at least YouTube gives you an option to fight it, you know. Daily motion's like, well, tough shit for you. Although I've been told they've gotten better, but uh I don't care to find out. I'm done with them. <clears throat> Play the Sonic CD intro. <laughs> nah. I do love that song, though. <clears throat> yeah, Friday 13th Part 7 basically was Carrie versus Jason. Like, it's super cheesy, but I love it. I doubt Michael Myers is an incel because he doesn't seem interested in women in that way. <laughs> okay, Wesker, thanks for stopping by, even though you're probably gone by now. <laughs> I'm not very far behind, but I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Myers didn't seem to be interested in anyone. Yeah, that was my thought. He just he just kills. <laughs> That's all he cares about. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna quit pretty soon. I just want to get caught up with the chat. Yeah, I hate the fact that everybody wants their own streaming service now. It was so much better when it was just one or two of them, but there's so many now. It's like, it's basically just cable TV. You're, you have to pay for all of them if you want to watch stuff. Excuse me. I don't remember what the deal was with Bluto, but yeah, at some point he was called Brutus. I can't remember which name came first or why, but yeah, he's he has been called both. It did officially become Bluto at one point, I believe, though. <coughs> I think Brutus was the earlier episodes, or I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand why they did that with Dance Magic, either. Also, they had David Bowie make baby noises for some weird reason. <clears throat> Hi, Ivan. Have Lee and I been doing okay during the quarantine? Yeah, pretty much. Um... Damn it, it refreshed again. Where was I? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're doing okay. I left... I, uh... I was let go from my Thursday job, so I'm kind of alternating between working five and four days a week. Now. 
Possibly. My boss did have me working Thursday uh, last week and, and this week. Or this week and next week. Whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> but I may switch. May, I, she may uh, put me back on four days. And Lee's about to lose his job, but he's going to be getting, um, <clears throat> he's going to be getting, uh, unemployment. And if things go the way they're supposed to, because supposedly if you lose your job due to the coronavirus, you get more money from the government or whatever. And, um, supposedly he's going to possibly get, be getting even more money than he was when he was working. So I don't know if that's going to work out, but either way, he is going to be able to get unemployment. So. Sony released a statement telling everybody that all workers will still get paid even if they have to stay home and the PS5 will still release this holiday. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Glad you've enjoyed it, Ashtray. I hope the stream was reasonably entertaining. Uh, you guys definitely kept me on my toes. <laughs> Certainly wasn't any dead air, except for when I went to heat up my tea. <clears throat> One person does not like Red Dwarf. Hmm. Thanks, Ojunix. I hope you catch me again t soon, too. Eh. Sorry, my brain shut down in the middle of that sentence. <laughs> I'm definitely getting a little punchy. <clears throat> I'm already tired of this discussion about who is or isn't an incel, so I'm just kind of ignoring it now. <clears throat> Puppet Master series was the longest running horror series to not reboot. Hmm. Possibly. I know it was straight to video, so. No, I'm not transsexual. Actually, the term is transgender, and no, I'm not. That's an odd question. Alright, you know what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we had a troll, but they're gone. Oops, I put the wrong thing over here. I meant to grab that. There we go. <clears throat> and I got behind again. There it is. <clears> hmm. <throat> Yeah, it's difficult to pay for content when it all costs so much and you have to get it from so many different sources. <laughs> David Bowie doing baby noises sounds silly and fun. I guess it kind of does, but it kind of ruins the song for me, to be honest. I don't want to hear baby noises when I'm listening to music, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, they couldn't get the baby to... They had a baby there, but they couldn't get it to make the right noises or whatever. Oh, my throat's getting sore. <clears throat> Thanks, George. I'm glad the stream was entertaining for at least a couple people. <clears throat> Can't wait until all this is over. I know. Lee and I are like, oh, hey, we're going to be 
possibly making more money soon. Maybe we can finally buy that furniture we've been meaning to buy. And it's like, oh, wait, all the furniture stores are closed. <clears throat> Little was his real name, but a rights change in the 60s made them change only his name to Brutus. These days it's either or, but primarily Bluto. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. Thanks, Digital Diablo. Hope everything goes well for you, too. Why was I let go? Um, it was a combination. It was partly because of the virus, but also because they were kind of changing how they do things anyway. Um, my main job at uh, the place I worked at on Thursdays was that I, I did meeting prep. And, like, they were doing all... They got to where they were doing all meetings over the phone... And also, they were kind of changing the way they did it anyway, so there was already less work for me, and they just kind of didn't need me anymore. So, it was a bummer, because I really liked that job. It was super easy, and I had my own office. I'm going to miss working there. The people were really cool, too. <clears throat> oh, some people don't know what an incel is. You're better off not knowing. It means involuntary celibate. It's guys who insist they can't get laid because all women are horrible or whatever. It's, it's Look it up if you really want to know, but... Did Red Dwarf have an episode tackling drugs yet? Nope. Not that I can think of. Favorite pizza? I don't know if I specifically have a favorite pizza. There are some toppings I like more than others, but... Normally when we order pizza, we just get cheese pizza. Because it's cheapest. <laughs> <coughs> oh, you're right! They did They did sort of do addiction. I, I, I didn't think of that episode. I was trying to think of an episode where they... They tackled a, a di addiction in some way. And I'd forgotten about that one. <clears throat> Watched a lot of Adam West Batman. Now you've been craving buttermilk? Guess I haven't seen that show in a while. I don't remember. I don't remember anything about that. <clears throat> well, I mean, the kid who was in Labyrinth was the son of, um, what's his name? The son of the guy who did all the character designs and stuff. So I'm pretty sure they were careful <laughs> about not letting that kid get traumatized <clears throat> black pudding on pizza I forget what black pudding is is that is that blood pudding Ultra, ultra zone corrupts your circuits. Well, that's what they say, but where's the evidence? <laughs> uh, that's a cute line. Fast food related urban legend? The conspiracy of Chuck E. Cheese recycling pizzas by stapling older pizzas together. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I heard that about Chuck E. Cheese. I heard that from someone else. I honestly can't think of any others. Oh, the, oh wait. Favorite fast food related urban legend. I like the one that, uh, the one that claims that, um, KFC has, like, headless chickens. <laughs> headless, like, gen genetically engineered chickens or whatever the fuck it is. As if, like, they keep them right there at the restaurant. <laughs> And like, and that such a thing exists anyway. It's just the whole, the whole aspect of it is so stupid. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the connection between Batman and buttermilk either. I, I guess, I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Oh, it is blood pudding. Okay. Never had that. Bye, Jay. Thanks for stopping by. I thought he was saying goodbye to somebody else for a second. <laughs> Once had a pizza that just had cheese, garlic sauce, and caramelized onions. Ooh, that sounds good. Cheese pizza is great because you could put whatever you want from the fridge on it at home. That's true. I don't really bother with that, though. I used to love getting a uh, cheese pizza from Papa John's. Papa John's is so good, but they actually don't have one in my area since I moved, so we can't we can't get it anymore. <clears throat> Panzer Dragoon remake on Switch. I think this is the first I'm hearing of this. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. That was such a great scene. <laughs> sloppy Joe myth. Joe is a serial killer, feeds his victims to others at a cookout, and they tell him this is Sloppy Joe. <laughs> uh. Yeah, buttermilk, I think, is somewhere between milk and, like, sour cream or something it's uh yeah i think i used to drink it when i was a kid <laughs> favorite fast food myth mcdonald's is food <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> I'm surprised nobody told me. Then again, I don't really talk about Panzer Dragoon that much. Uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga is actually one of my favorite games of all time. So anytime there's something Silent Hill related, everybody on the internet tells me about it. But people probably don't necessarily know about my love of Panzer Dragoon Saga. Didn't really get too into the first two uh, Panzer Dragoon games, but I loved the third. Panzer Dragoon Orta... I thought it was good that it had more story to it, like Saga, but it wasn't an RPG in any way. It was just, they just went back to rail shooters, which I didn't care for that. I felt like a step back. <laughs> Did I replace Be Trans Panzer Dragoon Saga on the Saturn? Yeah, I, I literally just talked about that. <clears throat> it's actually one of my favorite games of all time. I might like it better than all the Silent Hill games, <laughs> but I haven't played it in ages. It's in storage, unfortunately. The myth about the ball pits at McDonald's having needles in them. <laughs> that sounds like something somebody would say. Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> Never had goat milk. Does it taste very different? I think I've had cheese that was made out of goat milk, but I don't remember what it was like very much. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, he asked it just as I was talking about it. That was kind of funny. There is a bit of a lag. That might be why. Burger King is people still healthier than McDonald's. Thinking of changing your major to criminal justice sounds interesting. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, we really don't need another uh, Silent Hill movie, especially not from Christoph Gans. <laughs> okay. It's not quite six, but I did make it past 5.30, so... I think I'm gonna wrap up here. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me, everybody. This was kind of fun. I don't know if I'd be able to keep going for this long, but you guys are very talkative, so that, that helps me to keep going. <clears throat> Will I ever consider doing more Monsters TV series review? Not unless I'm doing YouTube full-time again, and so far I haven't been able to make that work, so... The whole point of those was they were uh, filler videos in between film dens, and I don't even have time for film dens right now. <clears throat> I hated that I had to stop doing it, but I just don't have time now. <clears throat> yeah, that barbed wire scene was stupid. <laughs> well, everybody's talking now, probably saying goodnight and stuff. About to clock out and get on the bus. Okay, Oblivious, thanks for stopping by. I'm, like I said, I'm about to wrap up anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Goat milk takes somewhat different, but it's difficult to explain. Hmm. Ah, oh, well. I'm sure I could look it up on the internet and find out. Hmm. <laughs> I like how creepy the Burger King mascot is. They kind of they kind of were playing it up for a little while too. <clears throat> okay, Special Iron, thanks for stopping by. See you next time, Chibi Cthulhu. <clears throat> No problem, Jesse. It was fun. Thanks for stopping by. In the meantime, let's posse. God damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop for real now. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Um, stay busy. <laughs> stay safe. All that good stuff. So that's it for now.